I'm Julie Hedrick. I'm a painter and a poet, and we're in Kingston, New York, in the chapel room in my studio. I um, feel very connected to the Hudson Valley, the whole the landscape of it, and the river running through the middle of it. I usually spend every morning just visiting the river, walking along the river first thing, and that sort of sets the tone for the day. And then I bring that that quality and energy into the work that I do. The sort of combination of grandeur and magic in the smallest details as well, you know? And it's always changing. And yes, the scale, I'm comfortable in large spaces. <laughs> and I like to I like to recreate that feeling. These canvases are abstract and they're very simple. But the feeling is of standing in front of the Hudson River is what I'm trying to capture and bring to others through the abstraction of this color and the, the quality of the changing light. These canvases actually they change as well all day long depending on the kind of light that's reflected on them. It's almost like they're, they're living. I imagine, because I haven't had this exhibition yet, but how I imagine it is that when people walk into the gallery they're going to feel like they're walking into the forest or walking, in, walking next to the river. They'll experience the light and the energy of that there. There's something about Peter's music, the composition, and the feeling of it, and the composition and the feeling of my painting, and we, it's connected. It's always been... Peter Wetzler, and I'm a composer and pianist, and I write music for film and television, and have a radio show called Soundforms Conversations with Composers, an exciting time for me because I was classically trained and in the, the last number of years I've been doing most of my work has been two kind of two things I've been doing scoring music for film and television and that's been the bread and butter job I started out writing music for dance for postmodern dancers so it was more sort of avant-garde electronic stuff that was the thing in working with modern dance that I was really passionate about which is the relationship between music and moving images because I think there's a wonderful relationship that I noticed and struck me to the core in Balinese music and dance that there's this relationship between movement and and sound that's extraordinary that you never see in ballet and occasionally you see in modern dance this extraordinary marriage of the two I really stopped performing solo piano about 20 years ago 25 years ago and, but I do play with an ensemble called the Rapidos, and we're all free improvisers. So we, we just get together, and we improvise, and we've been doing it for years, and we just follow each other, and it's just a love. It's so hard to get seven people who live in seven different places together that this idea came of just doing going back to piano. It doesn't You don't have to carry it with you. You don't have a roadie. You don't need roadies. You can just do it. So I've been doing this same kind of free improvisation on the piano where I sit and I play the moment I don't set anything and I'm really loving it because it's kind of bringing together my classical training and my the free improv and the minimalism and all the sort of film score things I've been doing so it's, a, it's an exciting time.